I'm your huckleberry. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here today with my Palmetto State Armory P810 rifle chambered in 308. You may be wondering, why does that paint job look so cool? And how can I do that? And if you are, you're in luck. Because if you check this video out right here, I give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this exact paint job. I'll give you a minute now just to take a look at it. All right, so I've had this thing for close to three years, and I just have hit about 800 rounds through it. I know that sounds like a little bit over a three-year period, but fucking 308's expensive, and I'm not rich. Uh, as you guys have seen in all my other videos, I do a lot of shooting, but unfortunately, 308 is one of those that I just can't shoot as much as I want to. But I finally feel like I've hit a good enough number on this rifle to give you guys my impressions of it. And so far, I'm really liking it. Let's go ahead and put about 10 rounds through it and see how it runs. So as you guys can see, that thing delivers a fucking ton of kinetic energy out at 100 yards. Nothing quite hits like a 308, especially in a package like this. This thing is fucking awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now. We'll load up another mag. Let's keep going. So uh, the rounds we're actually loading up today are these... I've had these for a while, but it's some Wolf Polyformance 145 grain full metal jacket. That's one of the things I also really do like about the PSA P810. It seems to run steel case ammo really well. It's never given me any problems. And uh, not all 308s can boast that same reputation. The scope that I'm running on top of this one is the Vortex Viper 2 to 10, uh, 2.5 to 10. And when I'm shooting freehand like this, I'm typically keeping it as low as possible. So it's at 2.5. Uh, I've noticed that shooting offhand at any kind of like heavy magnification is really difficult. So 2.5 works really well for something like this. And then when you're on a bench or you're going prone or off a tree or something, that 10, uh, 10 power really reaches out there. See how hard it's hitting that fucking steel plate at 75 yards? That's the power of 308. That's the benefit of something like this. If you need a rifle and you want a round that's really gonna knock the shit out of something, go with the 308. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say I would want this as my primary rifle because it is fucking, you know, it's really heavy. And I know I should get strong, but if you carry this thing around all day, you're gonna know it. But when you really need something, that's gonna reach out, penetrate some barriers, and really fucking hit hard at distance. It's hard to beat 308. Trying to be uh, conscious of what I'm doing with the trash here. I don't want it all over my range. Let's get another 10 in here. All right, now I'm downloading these magazines to 10 rounds. The main reason I'm doing that is just because I don't want to burn through a shit ton of ammunition really quickly. So what I found is when I'm on the range, if I download my mags, it gives me a little bit more time on the range. So I'm not just pop, 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 dumping rounds. So, you know, that's just me. You don't have to do it that way. It's just what I like to do.
it is fast it's accurate it's really nice uh, i don't have any paper targets currently i wanted to do something in the video where i kind of give you guys an accurate demonstration where i give you guys an accuracy demonstration but i was out of uh, paper targets what i've seen in my experience shooting this rifle it tends to group with something like wolf about two inches and 100 yards uh with some standard like aac ammo i've been getting about an inch and a half at 100 yards and then with some match grade ammo uh better groups i would say in the realm of one inch maybe sub one inch if i'm really doing my my job but it's not you know it's not super easy to shoot that tight it just is what it is but it's pretty accurate if you guys are interested in seeing something where i put this thing on paper let me know in the comments below i'll definitely make that video happen what do I want to shoot now? It's almost too easy with this thing. But let's go ahead and put one more mag through it and see how it runs. Twenty-five yards. I'm probably doing a little bit of damage to that big target. But, you know, it's my range, and I can do that if I want to. Uh, don't try that at home. But there it is, guys. There's the Palmetto State Armory PATN rifle. These are really affordable 308 ARs. I want to say you can pick them up for definitely under 1000 maybe under 800 bucks without optics. And, uh, you know, put some rattle can on it, guys. You only live once. I definitely love this rifle. It's one of my favorite 308s. And uh, I think you will, too. As always, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. If you have anything you want to see on the channel, let me know in the comments below. Take care of yourselves. Peace. See y'all later.